All right, y'all, we got Mike here and he's singing for us. Keep going. I love you, love you. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello there, y'all. What's going on? How's everybody doing today? Hopefully wonderful. I am currently in this crazy pool hall thing at these cool apartments, thanks to uh, just one of my Christian brothers that I ended up meeting recently. You'll see this beautiful home. Say hey, Andrew. What's up, dude? <laughs> All right, so to, to bring y'all up to speed, basically, I ended up meeting Andrew at church, and he invited me into his incredible home. He's a fellow really devout believer. And yeah, so I think we're gonna stroll the city and um, hopefully we'll make some stories out of it. All right, y'all, Andrew's giving me the tour. Yeah, yeah. So we've got the infamous uh, here. Um, yeah, so it's not an actual station now, but uh, this is kind of where a lot of people party and whatnot. Uh, it's, it's beautiful, that's for sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to do wall burgers, y'all. <laughs> y'all were. We're at Wahlburgers, okay? Double decker. The, the two and three old cat. Was that a, a half pound burger? A half pound burger. Go <laughs> <laughs> bite it. <laughs> That's a man bite right there. That's awesome. Okay, here you get it. You get it. All right, dude. What do you got over there? Okay, we got yo. We got the R burger. This is the trademark one, of course. Added bacon. Yeah. Come on. What do I look like? What do you think? Mm. Is it worth it? This is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all, we're, we're uh, I'm still with Andrew, we're at graffitis. Okay, oh, so, hold on, man. Jeez Louise, you gotta, you gotta have all the attention. We, we... That's a whole nother story, it's been incredible. But I want to share some stuff about what's been on my heart, especially over this last week, so. So this this last week was crazy. Like it started with Friday. I posted up to try to like you know make a few bucks and like do some worship music. And I ended up uh, there was this awesome chick that ended up stopping by. She ended up getting praying for salvation. Boy, oh boy, it is a beautiful night, y'all. You see that in the background? That's the van. All right. I normally don't have the lights on. I probably should keep them on. But uh, boom. You see that? See the guitar? That's how Mission Mike makes a few a uh, few bucks for gas money. You know. So anyways, uh, yeah. It's been an incredible night. Oh my gosh. We got, we, somebody accepted salvation. <laughs> These are my favorites. Anyways, uh, you think it would get old by now, but no, not on, not on one little ounce whatsoever. It doesn't get old, it never gets old. It's the greatest feeling in the world. So uh, yeah, we just saw salvation. And then you wanna talk about blessings from the Lord, okay? You know, it's like you do his work and he, he rewards you. So anyways, one of my best friends, my whole life, her name's Ember. It's all of a sudden a bike coincidence in the same town. So she invited me to come hang out and grab sushis. Now Mr. Mike, <laughs> salvation sushi. Oh, oh, it's a good night, y'all. I hope you're having a good night. And uh, yeah, all I can tell you is sometimes you just need to post up somewhere and just sing worship music and walk strangers to salvation and, and the Lord rewards you. That's how, that's how life, isn't it funny how life works? Anyways, hey, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Never get told. And then uh, right after that, talk about a blessing from the Lord. So, you know, sometimes when you have like a hard week or a long week, you know, it's like, I don't know, he just rewards me. It's, it's always unexpected. But one of my best friends, her name is Ember, uh, she ends up coming into Orlando, ends up being here at the same time I am, and they're going to Disney World. So they invited me to join them for sushi dinner. Hi, y'all. I'm having sushi here with all these lovely ladies. We got Ember, Sarah, and Leslie. Lindsay. Lindsay. Leslie. Why don't you leave the jokes to the funny people at the table? I want to apologize to everyone. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to edit that out. How cool is this? Fireworks in Orlando. In this great. Yes! Woo! <laughs> okay, so in one of the hotels here, y'all. They have this creepy little carousel, and the lady referred to it as a corridor, so signs of the Illuminati already. And yeah, it just when I thought it couldn't get any better, I spent Saturday watching, uh, I went to Whole Foods, watched a movie. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So it's Saturday, and it's time to uh, make this the perfect week, all right? It's been crazy, it's been eventful. I am at Whole Foods, and I'm about to watch, yep, 
Never too old for cartoons on a Saturday night. All right, let me get back to my movie. Yeah, watched a uh, Superman cartoon. Couldn't, yeah, I'm telling you, it was it was like a trifecta. Yeah, and just uh, and then to kind of wrap it up, I just I, I knocked out a bunch of maintenance stuff on a Sunday, but at the end of the day, I wrapped up with it doing an open mic. You know, it was a lot of fun. Afterwards there, I got to try to talk about the gospel with this guy there. We got in like this debate and, you know, I'm always down for those. It's always a lot of fun, but, um, you know, if there's just something biblically that just has kind of really stuck out to me this week, it's, look, y'all, I'm not immune to it too. We all have to deal with our problems in life. We all have to deal with our hardships. We all got to deal with whatever, you know, but that that's life. But a lot of the times we go through this where we compare how our life looks to other people and if somebody looks in this temporal moment, like in this, okay, so this is the past, this is us here, this is the future. If in this moment we look over there and it looks like they're doing well, we begin to think that, okay, let me figure out what they're doing so I can match their success, okay? And biblically, there's this, this uh, one of the kings there is named, one of the kings in early Israel, his name's, uh, or Judah, his name's Ahaz, and he gets beat by this one group because he's not loyal to the Lord, and what it says is that, uh, in his time of trouble, King Ahaz became ever more unfaithful to the Lord. He offered sacrifices to the gods of Damascus who defeated him. All right, let's pay attention to that. For he thought, since the gods of the kings of Aram have helped them, I'll sacrifice to them so that they will help me. But they were his downfall and the down downfall of all of Israel, which is God's people. So basically it's like, look, sometimes in this temporal moment, we forget to look at the past, present, future. We forget to look at everything as a whole. And so what we end up doing is we start looking at what is somebody else doing well. And maybe it looks like they're doing well in a worldly sense because they've accumulated a lot of things. Wh whatever it is that our heart desires in an earthly sense. Maybe they have a, a lot of money, maybe they have a lot of security, maybe they have like some cool fancy houses and vehicles and toys, you know, or uh, maybe they got a relationship that looks great from the outside looking in, but, but that's, that's a fleeting moment. These very people could be on their way to hell in the afterlife. You know, so it's like, we have to learn to see a bigger picture. And we can't learn to trust in other gods because they defeat us. You know, it's like, no matter what, if there's one thing we see biblically, time after time, it's that we have to just trust in the Lord. And we gotta, you gotta just do His will. And you have to accept, Jesus tells us we're not gonna be of this world. And we can't look at the world to ask ourselves if we're adding up or if we're doing a good job. So. If there's just a big takeaway of just kind of this week that the Lord's really been putting on my heart, it's like, don't look around. Don't look to the left or to the right. You pick what God told you to do, the Great Commission, how you're supposed to live your life, and you go after that, and you seek that first in doing His will, and everything else has to fall by the wayside. And you are gonna no longer measure up to the people around you, but you're not supposed to use them as a standard of measurement, and you can't look at what they're doing that seems like it's working, because that can end up being the very downfall of you. And when we do that, the rest of the Christians around us suffer, because we want to bear the name of Christian. We want to claim that we're that, and then we're going to end up suffering the consequences, and those on the outside looking at it are going to be like, I don't want to be part of that. That person who claims that they're Christian, their life doesn't look good, it doesn't look healthy. Or maybe maybe in a worldly sense, we, we start prospering, but it's like, y'all, it's... We're gonna die, we're gonna stand before the Lord, we're gonna stand before His judgment, we're gonna stand before uh, having a given account for, for how we chose to live our life, what we, what we chose to prioritize in this life, and it's like, you know, what, what are you prioritizing? You know, these are, some of the questions I ask myself is like, what's important to me right now? You know, like, if you ever think about it, like your eulogy, what are they gonna say about you? And you know what I've never heard in a eulogy is anyone be like, oh man, so-and-so, Man, they paid their bills on time. They nailed the bills, every, you know, without fail. Like, it's never that kind of stuff. It's never something along the lines of, uh, of like, so and so managed to always get the rent. It's like, no. It's 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 like what legacy, what your living legacy was when you were here. So it's like, and that's going to be boiled down to accomplishments. And if you didn't accomplish anything biblically, like, what legacy have you left behind? How have you changed the world and the people that will come after you? What have you done for the greater good? You know, what have you done to save souls from hell because all the people we're not preaching to are gonna end up there. So it's just like, look y'all, don't trust the gods of Damascus. Don't trust the gods of this world. They're not gods, they're man-made. They, they don't provide salvation. They don't provide the things that we think we need. They don't provide fulfillment. 
and if, if you got to see a bigger picture, you got to learn to see past, present, future all at once. You got to take yourself out of the moment so you can see what's happening all around that moment. Because if you just stay in this stuck in this one moment, then you, you play the comparison game and you're forgetting to, to keep everything in perspective. So uh, anyways, yeah, that's just that's my big encouragement for you guys, you know. And again, it's like I can't recommend enough. You gotta be reading scripture. You gotta do this for yourself. It's all in the Bible. If anything that I just said to you sounds wise, I'm totally just plagiarizing. I, I'm just like reading scripture. It's, it's a lot easier than it sounds. And the Holy Spirit will teach you all these things. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Remember, uh, check out MitchMike.com if you ever want to like donate, support me to this. It's always appreciated. Can't thank you enough. If you don't want to, well, you know, it's all right. You know, I'm still here a year and a half later, even though a lot of people have had that mentality. So it's, believe me, you're not hurting my feelings. Because the Lord provides. That's the whole, there we go, bringing it back into the theme. You like that? Just remember, if, you, if you're going to seek the Lord and His kingdom and His righteousness before anything else, He will take care of you. He will provide for you but you got to have some faith and you got to seek him and his measurements of what he says in his holy word and nothing else and you and you can't play the comparison game whatever you do you can't play that so anyways uh hey love you guys praying for you talk to you soon